I remember one of my mentors told me that his biggest advice was to never grow up, to never lose that inner child. And I think surfing allows us to keep that inner child alive. To me, um, surfing is like freedom. It feels like you're flying, kind of. You know, I didn't really have anyone in the surf world that gave me tips or pointers. I had to do everything on my own, and sometimes it was difficult, so I think it's helpful for the younger generations, and especially minorities, to have someone to be there to back them. Surfing started from people of color, and it is meant for not just people of color, but for everybody. I think it's important to have someone older to look up to because I can trust them and they can help me if I get stuck. I didn't really have anyone that looked exactly like me that was half black, half Mexican. These kids and kids around the world to know that this sport, they can do it and they can feel empowered, they can feel beautiful, they can feel like they can be the next world champion. The more I surf, the more I progress. I learned just as much from pushing little Maya into waves and little Lizzie into waves as they learned from me. Having other women in the water, like with you, women you can look up to, definitely changes the vibe. Like you feel kind of more like you belong out there. Surfing with professional surfers has made me feel like I can accomplish a big career in my life. I couldn't stop smiling after. <laughs> One of the lessons I learned from surfing is like I fall and I get back up. I just keep trying my best. When I was in the water, I felt happy, excited, and ready to learn.